The EU has been supporting the peace process in Northern Ireland since 1989 and uh, uh, subsequently as of 1995 uh, through the peace program. Uh, it has provided more than 1.3 billion euros uh, in financial support for the peace process and by 2013 that will become 1.6 billion. Uh, both the peace program and the International Fund for Ireland uh, have produced remarkable achievements, but for, for the purpose of our workshop, I would like to concentrate on the peace program and how it was delivered. Um, in particular, uh, the, the peace program was started in 1995. It, has, uh, it was facing a big challenge. How to ensure that the money was so dealing with the problems and not being politicized. Um, in order to deal with this problem, the way, uh, the way that was designed to prevent the program was to enable the local authorities to, to implement the program. As a result, uh, this gave birth to, uh, at the time, to the district partnerships uh, that consisted from the representatives from the local uh, community, uh, the voluntary and, uh, sector, uh, trade unions and uh, other federations. Uh, these partnerships uh, came up with action plans dealing with the problems that we were faced on the ground. And this is very important uh, because they were the, the partnerships were as close to the ground as possible. They knew what the problems were and they knew what the solutions to those, those problems were. Uh, and we're speaking about problems of social integration as well as problems of economic development. Uh, this is became known as the bottom-up approach of the peace program and is considered today the key element behind the success of the peace program. Uh, this bottom-up approach gave a sense of ownership of the peace process to the people of Northern Ireland and they didn't feel that it was something that was imposed from the top. Um, this, this um, uh, experience for the peace program confirms what is mentioned in the opinion of the Committee of the Regions report, uh, that the people on the crowd suffer most. It also confirms another of the, of the uh, statements mentioned in the report, that the, 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 the local authorities are best placed to deal with these issues. Uh, the local strategic partnerships that were formed to implement the peace program uh, were so successful that they, they continue to, to operate today and their functions have actually been enhanced uh, uh, to beyond the implementation of the peace program. Um, this empowerment of the, of the local strategic partnerships it was very much intended through the peace program, but through their actions and through their achievements, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, they enhanced this empowerment. Uh, now, Northern Ireland has accumulated a, a lot of wealth in dealing with uh, peace and reconciliation, uh, issues of social integration as well as issues of uh, economic regeneration. These are problems faced by post-conflict situations, such as uh, the case in Northern Ireland, but also are problems uh, faced in many cities around Europe, uh, in particular where, in cities where uh, large immigrants <coughs> are there. Um, as the opinion of the Committee of the Regions underlines, it is important to make use of the EU experience in this field, and certainly the peace program uh, uh, is one example where the experience can be used. Uh, <coughs> in line with this conclusion, um, I'm very pleased to inform you that a peace network has been created. Uh, this is a network in which the authorities in Northern Ireland have taken the lead. The Commission is supporting that initiative, and the objective of this network is to uh, document the experience of Northern Ireland in peace building and to, to pass on the experience to other uh, areas, regions, towns uh, that are in need. Uh, in this uh, network, the local authorities are very much center stage. So I would like to, to invite uh, local authority representatives who are here today to pass the message and if they want more information about, about how to become involved in the peace network, I would be more than happy to provide uh, more information. Um, concluding, I, mean, I would like to say that the testimonies we heard here today 
as well as the experiences of uh, the peace program in Open Island, confirm the opinion of the Committee of the Regions report uh, that uh, the local authorities can play and do play an important role in uh, city diplomacy and building measures of confidence. Thank you very much.